Hello YouTube fans, this is the Scar Clown. Um, sorry, um, I'm not. Hopefully you can look at me good. I put the key on so the lighting can hit me. I didn't want to turn on the light for my room because, you know, for, you know, white bill and shit like that. But, um, uh, I want to talk about something that, um, if you guys haven't noticed, there has been articles talking about... <laughs> The USA, the military, you know, getting together. Look at that picture right there. It's all glowing with the flames. <laughs> That's why it would look like an astronaut and shit. So, um, so there was articles of the U.S. government basically getting the military and the Union, United States Union, and all that shit, getting together and talking about um, the UFO sightings are happening more recently here but also they're talking about um preparing for um a national threat so me i was going to make a video about this and me and my friend were talking about it so might as well talk about it here now if you haven't seen those articles i put at least maybe I think one of them in the description box. So if it's not in the description box, let me know in the comment section and I will find it. I got you guys. Um just if I forget. You know how sometimes you upload a video but you forget to put stuff in the description box and stuff. So if I didn't put it there, just remind me and I'll put it. So I shared it on my Facebook page anyway. So if I share this on my Facebook page, my Facebook people pay the people that watch me on Facebook, um, they don't have to they could just look at the article and stuff like that, though. But, um, this, once I got this, I was just, like, laughing my ass off because, like, I've already said it, guys, that this is it. You know, the writing's on the wall. Isis Wisdom, shout out to the sister. She literally pointed out that eventually all of us that are doing these lectures, basically, we're going to stop doing these lectures. And you kind of already see the writing on the wall. For kind of loud, you barely see me doing lectures, right? That's for a reason. The writing is almost on the wall. So you kind of almost see it being a thing, you know? Um, hey, some brothers and sisters around here are like, oh, I'm going to keep making videos until, you know, there's no internet and shit. Hey, man, do what you, you know, do what you got to do, brother or sister. So do what you got to do. Um, for me, though, that's how, th that was just my calling. And it's funny that other brothers and sisters are talking about, like, oh, so they won't be doing lectures and stuff. I've been saying that forever. I literally have been telling my family, my friends, sooner or later, I won't be here. I won't be here. I already made videos about it here on YouTube, too. When the day finally fucking happens, I won't be here. Right? And Isis Wisdom even pointed it out, like, the people that haven't... The people that watched us and talk shit about us and think that we're lying or crazy and shit, you, that's your fault. You didn't look at us and appreciated us. Because let me tell you something. We have a mission here. We do. We have a mission. <laughs> and we've done that mission. And if you haven't got to that state of what you're supposed to do, then it's what it is, what it is. It's already like time is up, basically, you know, so it's only a matter of time now until um, it's only a matter of time until the system's done. They're, they're already talking about you. They're already talking about a UFO invasion. They're already talking about it. They're already talking about it. For kind of loud, already the baby food, the baby formula, there's no more. And I started laughing because I'm all like, you women need to start using your breast milk for your own family. Yes, you used to do that back then. Yes. And plus, you're going to really trust these formulas that you're going to give to your baby, but you're not going to give your own breast milk that's literally from nature herself to your baby? Look, there's a lot of brother. I mean, there's a lot of sisters out here that just like, you know, some look from like, I use my sister, for example, and I love my sister. Uh, you know, I'm like a father figure to her. But, um, you know, 
even my dad told her, you know, you're supposed to breastfeed because that's a connection between the baby and the mother. And she never did. She just, you know, um, used baby formula because she just wanted to, you know, smoke weed and shit like that. Um, so maybe giving her baby formula is not good anyways, even if she was smoking weed, you know, because she was smoking weed before she got pregnant and everything like that. So there is that. So maybe if you maybe if your ladies are doing that, you probably have to cleanse yourself for that, you know, because um, I bet you anything, there's some brothers and sisters out here that be like, don't give your baby, you know, weed milk or some shit, <laughs> you know? So, on the safe side, just give them normal, natural breast milk with no shit that you did, you know? For crying out loud, like, if you're smoking a cigarette, don't give your baby your breast milk. The hell is wrong with you? Again, cleanse yourself, man. Like, do something. Do something with that baby milk. Seriously. Because eventually it's not going to be milk around here. And your men, like, uh, look, you're going to have to take care of your kids somehow. You're not going to breastfeed your fucking, you know, f five-year-old kid. But if there's no milk to feed them breakfast, basically, what are you going to do? <laughs> you know? But moving on from that, that doesn't really, you know, matter. But it kind of does because, you know, things are getting out and everything like that. And already, I'm already, I just heard today from a mom, I don't know if this is 100% true, but supposedly um, Joe Biden, our fucking goddamn president, since everyone got the, 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 the sickness, the C-19, which uh, I, I should talk about that right now. I did got this, the, the, the logo of what people are saying. I was labored with it when I got sick. But it lasted a week. It literally lasted a week. So. And I felt, and I feel fine now. What these wicked beings try to do is try to hold me back. I knew what it was. I knew what they're trying to do. For crying out loud, before I got, I got sick, I started building a lot of good shit. And I started like freaking like, you know, um, doing my um yoga stuff and getting my freaking wand and going like da da da, you know, like practicing and shit, you know. So there is that, and um, there's a, there's also a lot of stuff that's happening with um, like, okay, going back to the Joe Biden stuff. Supposedly with the Joe Biden stuff, like he's gonna send. The, the, the like shots to door to door people so they can get the jab and I'm like fuck you fuck you fuck you they're just gonna mail it to you they're not gonna like go to door with a fucking officer and b make you take it no they're just gonna send you to the mail don't take it guys I already said this once and I said it again even if you get sick don't fucking take it don't take it at all don't take it all of us are telling you do not fucking take it don't take it is it funny? And look, I haven't looked at the whole, you know, what Joe Biden is doing. Maybe what my mom said is gone. But going back, if it is right, I just want to say this. You mean to tell me that these motherfuckers, they know the writing on the wall and they want you to take this shit? You guys need to be smarter. You guys really need to be smart around here, Okay. For crying out loud, I just, I literally in school, I'm, I'm doing classes, I'm about to graduate this year, um, mainly because I put my foot down and I didn't want to do this shit in my fucking goddamn 30s, and guess what, the universe was like, okay, it ends this year, so that's what happens when you, when you know your reality, when you know you're living a Truman show, you, you can create anything, uh, people, for crying out loud, like every day, ever since I put my mind that I'm in, I'm in the Truman show, Everyone is looking at me like I'm like I'm like fix it. I'm not I'm not kidding you. Like I, like I don't get that vibe. You know what vibe I get? I get like why the fuck you looking at me? Stop looking at me. But the reason I'm getting looked at is because these motherfuckers know who the fuck I am. All right. Every time I leave out, out of, I leave out of my house. These you know some of some of my people. Look at me and shit like that. And I'm like, I bet you guys are fucking agents and bots. Leave me the fuck alone. 
How many agents and bots are all around here? Are you are all of you guys are just sellouts because you live in a fucking goddamn ghetto and you want that fucking moolah? Is it possible? Hell yeah, it is, man. Some of our people, once they see fucking money, especially Hispanic people, look, most people want to talk about, you know, the, you know, the so-called black people and everything like that, being like that. They are, but so-called Hispanics, in my opinion, are worse. They, 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 they worse, man. So-called Afro-Hispanics are way worse, man, because they like to be uh, really greedy motherfuckers, and then they kill you faster than what what these wicked ones want to do to the you know to to so-called black people but we're but we're black people too because we're afro people afro hispanic people are still part of the what we call the black culture you know so um, and i want to say this too guys too um also we have always been targeted each and every one of us but the chosen ones like me and up uh, like Isis Wisdom, Remedy H, um, Serious Temple, all these people, all of us are here for a reason and to do what we need to do. But we have a target on us. Every time we do this stuff, these wicked beings basically have like, like they, 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 they know who we are. They know who we are. They, know, they didn't want us to wake up to find out who we are, but we know who we are. I'm 28 years old, and some people that I watch are way older than me, and I'm just like, you live how many generations? And I'm just like, I'm, I'm in my like, I'm only living fourth generation. I remember counting the the generations for my grandparents. They live like nine generations, and I'm just like, damn, the stories that they could tell, you know. And soon they won't be able to, you know, get, you know, die, soon. So, and get sick. And some of our people are gonna. Already, I mean, Isis Wisdom pointed out that already we're seeing stuff like dragons are coming in and everything like that, and people are using, um, getting their um, powers activated. This stuff that I want to point out too. When I was meditating, and I was, um, bringing up the 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 dark matter energy, this right here started sparking up on my hand, and every and ever since that time, every time I meditate, I feel that energy around my palm. It just, it, it keeps, I keep feeling it. I keep feeling it. And I feel like it's going to get more. Um, no, I know it's going to grow more. And literally, I could just have something come out of my fucking goddamn hand. Literally, I feel that already. So, if you guys have been feeling that, um, let me know. So, I think some of our powers, what we call powers, it's not really, let's be more specific. Our... What is rightfully ours is being activated there, you know, as we speak. Some of some of us are getting some of it. Some of us are getting it earlier than others, which is fine, you know. Um, th it just shows the time that we live in right now, you know. And this this whole stuff that's happening is for a reason, obviously. And this, no, 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 guys, this is a good thing, you know. And shit is gonna go crazy soon all right if you haven't seen that Foot Locker commercial about the apocalypse or it was it, it, it was a shoe commercial about the apocalypse if you haven't seen that commercial you should because that came out in 2019 and that shit is a preview of what is to come and i've been studying this whole ufo phenomenon of them coming here since 2019 and i literally have an old clip in my Nintendo channel showing literally the the thumbnail literally shows a ufo literally on the doorstep of the planet and they were getting ready around 2019 now they are they've already been here they've been here for a long time but now they already here in 2022 and that's why they're talking about the whole ufo stuff so don't don't act like that this stuff is not going to happen and don't act like oh we're gonna this is going to happen in 2030 or 2050 no it's not it's going to happen at least in 2023 because i already said that i already told these wicked beings that your due date is 2024 you're not going to make it to 2025 motherfucker all right your last you last you very very last stand is 2023 
because shit's going to hit the fan this year, okay? Again, what I just said, they already talking about they already talking about being UF um having UFOs, um unidentified phenomenon, that's what they're talking about. Being um was it a a national security? So, what does that tell you? That tells you that eventually this shit's going to come out. And this year is not over yet. We're in the fifth month. All right, guys, and we're not even done yet. Okay? You know? So, you know, all of this stuff could start happening in the beginning of next year. That's sometimes, sometimes that always comes to my head. And you know what? I won't, I won't fucking, I won't fucking, like, be surprised. Because we're so close, guys. We're so fucking close. We're basically there. Okay? That's why you gotta stock up on food and water. You know, oh, stock up anything you can. Recently, I literally made a stove in classes, man. Uh, in a solar oven. Um, a solar oven. I literally made a solar, solar oven in, in classes. It was great. I remember making um, a solar oven when I was way younger. It wasn't exactly a solo oven. It was basically showing me um, how we could take um, aluminum foil and put food on it and heat it up with the sun. And I used cream cheese. That's what we did back in the day when I was younger. But um, recently we did it with, with s'mores, which was, mm, it was good. Sorry. <laughs> I have a sweet tooth sometimes, guys, and I love chocolate and sweets and i do it's terrible it is terrible but it's one of my it's one of my weaknesses <laughs> i i freaking have a what is it um lactose intolerant but i love freaking ice cream <laughs> you know so uh kind of you know we all we all have our weaknesses <laughs> i bet you guys do too <laughs> so uh, you know what that's what makes us you know real you know so shout out to you guys you know so but I'm just happy this is happening, and I want to let the Draco Kings know that you guys are fucked. I am coming straight after you motherfuckers, man. When the time comes, I'm going straight after you motherfuckers. And all those planes that are doing those chemtrails, oh, you'll be hearing from me soon. You will be hearing from me soon, motherfuckers, alright? You will be fucking hearing from me soon, alright? It's been raining here for, for a lot. All right, I know it's funny too because when I come outside with my freaking afro hair and stuff, the sun comes out, and sometimes there's no clouds, you know. And then all of a sudden, I get out of classes, and all of a sudden, there's clouds, you know. Like, there's no clouds in the morning, the sun's bright, hitting my hair and everything like that. Looking at it, saying, Hello, brother, what's up, raw? You know, and we got other suns around here already. You know, that people are already seeing, which is great. And already, you guys, there are some of these beings that are family members and are friends. And some of them are, are husbands and wives from other dimensions and like lifetimes. They're here. They're coming here. All right. So I know I, I point this out before. I have Astro Realm wives. I, you know, I found that out. Um, I keep getting them, keep finding out I have a lot of wives, and I'm like, holy shit, how many wives do I have? I literally have 11 wives, <laughs> you know, um, I do have kids, you know, and they're all going to come here, and I'm not talking about the Neptunians, but the Neptunians are all going to come here too, they're my babies, um, some people haven't really heard about the Neptunians, but I had a dream about them a long time ago, and then in, in somebody in the we all woke channel which is which is a different title now beyond 5d i think it's called um someone pointed out that um no one has never went to um neptune before like no one can't visit neptune and i'm looking at him like what are you talking about i visit neptune and everything when i was there my 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 children were literally underwater um but um being but they were civilized you know they're aquatic creatures um but also they can you know, go inside a facility, kind of like what you hear, like, about Atlantis and stuff like that, so, um, they, they, originally, they were part of this planet, but they had to leave because of these wicked motherfuckers, 
They were, they were, they were originally created to help us defeat these motherfuckers and protect the planet even further. They basically wore like the shield, and we wore the sword. You know, and most people might be like, "Oh, that's terrible that you see them that way." I'm like, "No, we both had it. We were equally together. That's why." Basically, think of the planet Earth as her, and we're the, the sword in there, the shield. You know, and she's like holding both of us and fighting with these wicked ones while she's holding us. You know, that's that. That was the whole point. That's why I created them. <laughs> right. And they're beautiful, guys. They're fucking beautiful. For crying out loud, the the AI that you've been seeing that they making real lately, they took that aspect of them, like the 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 the, the, the color of skin. Their color of skin is 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 gray. Their eyes are green, but their skin is gray. They made out of carbon and silicone. They made out of that, and they have green. And their cheeks are green. They're beautiful, guys. They're really beautiful. They really are. They're beautiful. And at one point, they did show me that they were, like, living on a test tube once. That's not... That's gone now. That is. They, they, they're they mating now, like, you and I. Because that's what originally they were. They came from nature herself. The reason that that happened is because these wicked beings fucked them over. That's how fucked up they did. They, they fucked them up so bad that they had to fucking repopulate on test tubes. But they made it naturey, so it's part of the galactic thing, basically. So, so I had to fix that shit. I had to fix it. I was just like, okay, these motherfuckers did this shit. I had to fix it. So now they can reproduce normally, and it, it happened fast, anyways, because I created these motherfuckers. I, I, motherfuckers, I created these guys. I'm talking. I'm literally thinking about the wicked ones too. I mean, we technically, some of us did created the reptilians, you know. So, not all of us did, but some of us did by other means, and sometimes we caught other beings here that looked reptilian-ish, you know? So, and some of us had, like, dark stuff inside of us, and, well, wicked stuff, and we pulled that out. If you watch the Dark Crystal, the Dark Crystal kind of point that out. Um, also, that kind of point out with the masculine and feminine, not me, but I made a video about that a long time ago. So, but, um... These Draco Kings, like, these, any of these wicked beings that are on this planet right now, you are fucked. You can't leave this planet. You're trying to, but you can't leave this planet. You are stuck here. You are trapped. You are trapped here. You are trapped here. And that's your fault. You thought that this day would never fucking come. Are you stupid? You thought this day would never come, but yet we told you countless fucking times. Kind of loud. You put it in your movies, and you still think that day wouldn't come because you thought that you thought you thought us being you thought us forgetting stuff and being what we you basically you thought you thought us falling and rising back up would never happen. Because you thought it was laughable. You saw how powerful we were. But now you're going to see what we're capable of. We were kicking your guys' asses when you first guys came here. Now you're going to find out what happens when that power has been dormant for years and now it's come back. You guys have made movies and shows about this. When there's a power that's been dormant. It's going to come out, and then you can't control it because it's too powerful. That's what's going to happen. Okay? We all going to get, we all being activated. All right? And all that shit that with, um, oh, I, I keep, every time I want to think about the name, I keep forgetting it. But, um, I make a probably separate video about it. Because I did went to the asteroid and we kind of destroyed it a little bit. And I'm one of these wicked beings that I will come back and destroy it more if I have it, if I have to. Or when I will do it. So, um, just so you know guys, that's, this is, this is like the final, final uh, um, area in a way. The final stuff. The, if you haven't seen the writing on the wall for a while, this is like literally it. Remember... Things stuff ha things happen in the astral before they happen in the physical. 
So this obviously took took time to happen. But now it's here. It's here. And this shit is not gonna and this shit's not gonna start in twenty thirty or twenty fifty. Are you fucking again going back, are you fucking stupid? No. No. People are already tired of this shit. People want change already. People want change already. People don't want to live this type of lifestyle anymore. I don't. I don't want my kids to grow up with this type of lifestyle. I want to have kids that grew up with the lifestyle we're about to go to. To me, that's better. And look, in the kids that are, are alive now, they're going to have an experience of like, I lived that life and I experienced this other life that is totally different from the life that I lived that I barely even focused on because it's going to be like a memory, like it was nothing. Because my nieces are young and stuff like that. One of them is still in school and all this stuff is happening, you know. And some people might say, what's going to happen to the children? Listen, the children are pure. I hope it. Nothing's going to happen to them. Right? Nothing. Tr- look, trust. You think you think the universe ma- mama wants to wants to do something to the babies? No. They're babies. Like they have they have nothing like they're not even wicked. Like are there children here that are all wicked? Yeah, because either they have parents that are or they just don't have souls to begin with. They're they're all beings around here that that all like that. For kind of loud, there's a video that shows a bug that literally has his back destroyed, but he's still moving. How the f- like he has no organs? How the fuck is he moving? That's how you know that's a that's a robot. That's a bug. That's a robot. That's not a real bug. Most people are like it looks like a real bug. I'm like, yeah, technology, guys. What fall do you think technology is? There's a lot of sci-fi shit in this planet that you guys think that's that's not sci-fi. You think that's fucking you think it's it's fucking reality in when when it's and when I tell you it's it, it is reality, but not the reality that, that you think it is. You're gonna look at a bug. Say say you see at a bug you see say you see a bug with a decapitated head but it's still moving. How the fuck is that possible? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, man. We gotta stop being stupid here. Stop doing that covenant dissonant shit, basically. You know? There's there's no time for that shit anymore. There isn't. There's no time for that shit. There isn't, guys. There's no time for that shit. It's 2022. It's 2022 and there's no time to play those type of fucking goddamn games anymore. Yes. Games? What do you mean games? It is. It's a game. Right? And I recently found out that, you know, the whole Donkey Kong series is about uh, brothers and sisters. Which I'm just like, great. Nintendo is being what we call racist. And, you know, I told my friend that. He's like, oh, yeah, man. These are Japanese developers. These, you know, Asian people, they... You know, some of them want to act like they love us, but they fucking straight up hate us, you know, because a long time ago, I told my friend that they hate us. They do hate us. They do. Guys, look what look in China and Japan. What do they worship? Dragons. And who, who, who are the original dragons? Us. Some of us are dragons, not all of us are, but some of us are. The ones that are, they looked at that stuff and they worship it. And they were like, oh, and then they make stories saying that, oh, their people turn into dragons. No, you guys didn't. You guys were fucking, you guys are orcs. All right, no orc can turn into a fucking goddamn dragon. I'm sorry, you can't. You can't. You can't. You're a fucking pig. You're a pig. But you were made by different things. Okay? Thank your creator. Thank Zeus, alright? He made you whatever the way he made you. And then you rebelled on him. Because <laughs> you guys are idiots. 
because you guys don't you guys are not civilized you guys are not civilized you guys are not civilized we try to how many times we try to civilize you and i'm not the only one that said this shit so in a way i don't even have to fucking say it we civilize you so many fucking goddamn times and you still don't fucking goddamn learn and I go to the fucking goddamn stores, and now, you know, even serious temper point this out. Now you want to fucking be green? You know? I live in Holick, Massachusetts, and they started being green around 2011, 2010. Once I saw that shit, I, I told myself, now, why do you want to be green all of a sudden? They, they, they knew. They knew. They knew. Massachusetts is one of the 13 colonies, one of the original original united states okay so all people have probably suffered a lot of shit in this land than any other fucking goddamn land not to say we not to say that we weren't all over the world we were the mother the motherfuckers when these motherfucking caucasian people came from the fucking caucus mountains and fucking came over here and shit what do you think fucking happened we again we destroyed their ass right and then what do you think world war one and two was about Okay? Seriously, man. For crying out loud, like, they were literally going to make a, um, um, a prequel to Who Fame Roger Rabbit. And the prequel was literally going to be about World War II and the tunes going to war. Mainly because um, the, the regular people um, can die and get shot. But the tunes can't. They can take the bullets. What does that tell you? That's us. We are those cartoon characters that they show on on those old um you know, on those old um Disney and one of other shorts. We are those characters. We are Mickey Mouse, Bosco, Foxy, um, um what was it Goofy and um Bugs Bunny. We are these characters. They portrayed us in these in the in these cartoons for a reason. Right? Even if you watch the Sensor Eleven, the, the what we what you call the the Racy Warner Brothers stuff, they depict us in some of these shorts like um um Clean Pasture. For crying out loud, man, you watch that short and all of a sudden you see all you see all people, all carbon people look like angels. What is that telling you? They're telling you the truth of what some of our people are. It's very deep. Are there offensive stuff in these shorts? Of course. But, but if you look at it in a different light, different view, you see these shorts and you'll be like, they're literally telling you the truth here. For kind of like one of the shorts called, um, called All That and Rabbit Stew with Bugs Bunny, you have a brother that, you know, they depict him as lazy and stuff like that. He has a shotgun, puts the shotgun inside the tree, shoots the, shoots his shotgun, blows the tree up halfway, like there's only the bust. And Bugs Bunny's literally on the, the the shotgun, just laying there, and he's like holding the gun like that. And I'm just like, the brother is that strong that he blew up the tree, and Bugs Bunny is is that pretty strong too that he's literally standing, well, laying down on the um shotgun like nothing, you know. And then obviously you see the brother fall, you know, he falls all the way down, you know, those classic Looney Tunes stuff. And then Bugs Bunny turns around, and he's right there in front of him. You know, he might have bandages and shit. Uh, yes, it's a cartoon, but they're showing you how, you know, how indestructible we are, you know? So, even these cartoons sh show how indestructible they are. So, they always, again, yes, they always depict us in movies, but that whole Who from Roger Rabbit one, I wish that movie was made, man. In a way, if you want to see a preview of that, of what we could have gotten... Watch um, one of the Bosco shorts. There's a Bosco shirt that literally shows Bosco fighting in World War One, and and they're showing what these cartoon characters were going through during World War One, and those are supposed to represent us. Bosco is supposed to be a brother, you know. And going back to Donkey Kong, when people say that, oh no, Donkey Kong's not racist. Look at Donkey Kong sixty four. Your, your life meter is fucking watermelons. Your life meter is watermelons. Alright? And each of you, each of the monkeys 
each of the brothers and sisters, see what they did there? Each of them has a, a instrument, like a jazz. And if you look at some of the designs of some of these, what they call monkeys, you look at, you look at Chunky Khan, and you look at um, the, the, the one that has the long arms and stuff like that, you, like Lanky Khan, yeah. You see Lanky Khan and Chunky Khan, like in the beginning, you have the DK rap in the beginning of, of, the, of the Donkey Kong 64 game, and you have like Chunky Khan with an afro, and then he leaves and comes back to the screen without the afro. When I saw that as a kid, I'm like, they're literally telling you that he's that he's a brother. A long time ago, I even told myself that Donkey Kong was racist. Because I'm just like, is Donkey Kong racist? Because they're acting like like they like they they're mean or, or their clothes or, or like representing of color people. And they're monkeys. Why are you trying to say Nintendo? See, when people say that, oh, when I talk about the Sensor 11, and I bet you anyone that sees my Sensor 11 videos, someone is probably going to be like, oh, um, you just want to, um, what is it, uh, you just want to show more racy stuff, basically. You want that to be shown more. And I'm like, no, I'm just showing you what these shorts are, and they're part of history, and plus they're part of all people's stuff and what was going on around that time, you know? But when you see what Nintendo's doing, you, you be like, oh, Nintendo's just a, a video game studio. But yet you're never going to be like, oh, um, they're not doing, like, modern day racism, basically. <laughs> you know, that's how they get rid of, that's how they, that's how they let, that's how they let modern racism let, let it slide. You know? by like that type of shit and, and it's funny too because video game companies like nintendo will get away with that but yet when you make a youtube video and talk about the sensor 11 some people might not agree with you because they'll be like oh that's racy and all that stuff and i will say this that they we depicted ourselves you can look at that video too because it's in this channel I literally I pointed out that we depicted ourselves with big lips and statues anyways. So these so these one of other shorts depicting us with big lips, exaggerating fake chills, basically. It's a cartoon at the end of the day. So kind of like Bugs Bunny is exaggerated. So is Mickey Mouse. All these all these characters are exaggerated. And then pointing out too that if you wanna if you wanna if you want to be so offended about these Sensor 11 shorts, then Sensor Mickey Mouse, Sensor Bugs Bunny, because they're part of the menstrual shorts. For kind of they still have the gloves. Look at Mario. You know, for kind of I recently found out that the when Mario jumps, it's the hit, it's the Nazi symbol. So what does that tell you? You have a fucking Mario is Hitler and Donkey Kong is a brother. It, it, what was Mario Hitler and brother Donkey Kong trying to do? Get rid of the fucking reptilians. Hmm. Hmm. Just pay attention to those games. Hmm. And how come the reptilians haven't came back in Donkey Kong? Hmm. And I'm playing Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. And that whole story is that it's Donkey Kong's birthday. And these other, you know beings come here that the you know they're like um basically they're like um um in the um they're basically like obviously they're animals but they're animals that will live in antarctica basically so it's animals that go to donkey Kong's land and they bring cold weather with them kind of like these orcs in one of the boss fights i'm in right now you fight an owl so this game, yo, man, you, you got to think about this stuff, yo. All of these games, movies, they tell you something, man. And I didn't really think about the whole Tropical Freeze stuff until I was playing it earlier. And I was like, holy shit. This is literally telling us of when these motherfuckers came and brought fucking weather with them. Brought them snow with them. So, yes, Donkey Kong is a brother. No matter how, 
Like, people want to be offended about that shit, but you know what? Don't be offended that I pointed out. Be offended that Nintendo has been doing this shit since Donkey Kong existed. And by the way, so is King Kong. King Kong is a brother. We kind of know there's all the YouTube videos talking about Godzilla and Kong. People are talking about that, that, um, that Kong is a brother. And if you look at the, the way the movie is shot, they show the Kong and then straight um, on one with um, a brother in the movie hinting that Khan is the brother basically and I'm like damn man damn I have to watch the movie again because I didn't notice that shit I was just noticing um Khan and Godzilla because um because in that movie Khan is represented as an orc basically because he woke up and scratched his ass and stuff like that that's what these fucking monkeys do man that's what these orcs did they came out of the caves and shit like that, scratching their asses and shit. But we are the dragons, man. That's why you have Godzilla be like, you know, with that fucking nuclear breath shit. You know, some of us have that power. Not all of us, but some of us. Some of us can turn into dragons. Again, not all of us, but some of us, you know. When I found out that I can turn into a dragon, that shit resonated with me so much. And I loved it so much. And ever since I did what I do in the Astro Realm... These wicked beings have been fucking terrified. And ever since I've been doing that shit, all I get is heads turn, heads turn, heads turn. Why do I get, what, how come every time I go outside, I get people turn their heads on me? Why do people want to pay attention to me instead of paying attention to thyself? You know? You know? It's something to fucking think about. That's why I'm telling you, we live in the Truman Show. Alright? We live in the Truman Show. Okay? So, understand and overstand what we are going through. Okay? Don't be scared. This is supposed to happen. This stuff is supposed to happen. And sooner or later, it's going... This this system's going to end. It's already, it, it can barely even stand up, people. It can barely even stand up. All right. Already, you have these people, you know, going. We're kind of allowing, like, recently, like, to yesterday, my grandfather told my mom that um, someone stabbed a bus driver in the, in the throat, like, just slashed his throat. People are going crazy out here already. All right. So be careful out there. People are starting to become fucking crazy. It's not going to stop. I hope you guys know that. Especially with this whole quote-unquote invasion. When, pe- when, when, when our brothers and sisters come here and we do, our, we do our thing, there'll be more people like that. But to be honest, those people are not even going to survive. They're not. They're not. Do you think they're going to go after beings like us? And think that they're going to fucking get away with it? No. Even if they stab one of our own. Like, I bet you anything, they won't even die. And if even if they did, they will pay the price. Because there will be a brother or sister that will see that and knock him out. Or take him out. No ifs, ands, or buts. Okay? Because, it, cause look, if you guys are going to play that game, well then, you're going to get the fucking boot. You're going to get the boot. Right? My friend knows the writing is on the wall. I know it's writing on the wall. So it's almost time, guys. It's almost... It's it's literally, like... It's literally... What what should I say? It's literally lit. (laughs) You know? (coughs) Hold on. Yeah. So... I'm also playing through Shin Megami 5. It's not the best game, but I do like the whole fact of between humans and gods and stuff like that. That's great. The whole mythology of Shin Megami Tensei is is great. That shit resonates with me so much. Because I always wanted a game that talked about all the gods and goddesses and all the um, legends and religions from different types of cultures and all from all over the world. And they put it in these games. And I fucking love it. That's why, like, I got back into the series. 
my first Shimigami game was um, Soul Hackers. Um, they're going to make a sequel to that too. But um, great game. Haven't been in it, but it's a great game. And the whole point that this um, basically the reason I'm talking about it is because Shimigami Five is literally about us fighting each other because for the state of these orcs. All right. So, and the demons that you see in this mo- in, in in these in these games, they're us, like the dragons and stuff like that that you talk about. Um, they're us, and they and they spell demons with an A, like da- like for Damien, Damien, Demons, basically. So, obviously, those demons represent us, and. All those demons, basically. For kind of like there's some demons that are all brothers and sisters that are in the game. Yeah, but they call them demons. Um, you see how these orcs work, guys? They will take our people and put them in games and call them demons and devils and shit. I've been saying that for a while. But the reason they do that is because they're fucking scared of us. And they don't, they don't want to understand our knowledge and wisdom. Because every time they, we try to... They don't want to understand it. They think it's fucking hilarious, or we we think was they think we're smoking something. It's just that they can't comprehend it. It's because they can't bring them. They can't bring their brain to that knowledge. That's how you know they're different from us. That's how you know that they will never make it. Okay, they will never make it. I just want to say this th- one thing. These Caucasian people, they can't survive without us. You can't survive without us. So they're going to die. They can't survive without us, man. They, they can't survive without us. This has been proven. All right? That's what, what do you think they try to... What do you think they do what they do? To put us in fear, man. They put us in fear. And that way when, uh, you know, uh, an officer has a gun on you. And he shoots you. He, he kills you. But if you know who you are, the officer is not going to do shit to you. He's going to be fucking goddamn terrified. He's going to be fucking terrified. And even if he tries to shoot you, that, that bullet is not going to do shit to you. Because you got to remind yourself that that bullet is a part of you. You got to remind yourself that that gun used to be somebody. Used to be you. Someone was you. That That gun is literally you. It's made from you. For kind of loud again, when it when it's when you can't shoot, it's backed up from carbon, which is you. You that is you. They're using you in that gun. So why would it hurt you? But you wouldn't know that if you were scared of it and you don't have that knowledge of you raising your vibration and knowing who you are. Cause if you don't know that stuff, you're gonna look at that shit and be scared and you can get you can get killed. Because you're looking at it as, as you're looking at it as like, oh, it's more better than me. Basically, you're looking at the gun like that. You're looking at the gun as like it has more power than me, which it doesn't. It doesn't. It has no power, to be quite honest. It doesn't. It doesn't. It never has, and it never will. Okay. It has no power. The only power. What is true power is what's inside of you. Okay. Seriously. Some people might say that, oh, that sounds corny and shit like that, but it's true. And I'm not talking about powers that you, like, you, you, you see in fucking Marvel movies. I'm talking about powers that, that these wicked beings can't fucking fathom. Just because you thought of it. These wicked beings can't fathom that if you thought of something, it happens. They can't fathom that shit. They can't. Some of these fucking Caucasian people can't fathom that, man. That's why they can't grow. They can't. Some of these Caucasian people can't grow spiritually alone, man. They can't. They can't. Because they because either they're so religious that they want to put their religion into this fucking spiritual shit, and I'm like, it doesn't work that way. You have to get rid of your you have to get rid of your religion. If you want to be spiritual, you have to get rid of your religion. Because Spirituality is knowing that you already went to hell. Religion is for you, 
for the people that are afraid to go to hell. And uh, in newsflash, you're already in hell because you have to pay bills and walk, and you have to fucking walk to live. You need to. You need money to literally buy food that you need to survive. That is hell in a nutshell, people. Okay. Don't tell me you don't live in hell. You're in hell right now. Okay? And it's going to be better for some of us very soon. Okay? Isis Wisdom point out that don't mess with the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Especially the divine feminine. Do not fuck with those energies at this time. Don't even fuck with them at all. Anyone that's going against the, the you know, the masculine and the feminine... Oh, getting the fuck out of here. Like, like literally, they're getting out of here. The energies will literally kill you. Because they don't want that shit. Nature doesn't want that. The cosmos doesn't want that. Because we're moving to a time that we don't need that shit. So it's going to end. Okay? So, let's see. I think I could be done. Is there anything else I could talk about? Maybe that's it. So, um, obviously, you know, the whole multiverse of madness stuff that should tell you stuff too of what's going on. So, there's a reason why they're making movies about this stuff, guys. So, there is that. Um, I think that's it. That is, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Be safe. Get ready. Be, um, you know, get prepared and be careful out here because people are starting to go crazy out here, right? And so, some, of, some, some of our brothers and sisters are recommending, uh, you know, some, some of us or all of us actually to leave, leave the fucking country, man. You know, because when the shit goes down, man, like. All these, I've said this in school too. Like, what, what are you guys going to do when the power goes out tomorrow? Like, and all of them looked at me like they had their heads chopped off. And I'm just like, yeah, you don't know. What are you going to rely on? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You know, like, do you guys know how to freaking plant a seed? <laughs> I do. I've been doing that since I was a kid. So, and, I, and collect your seeds too, because I've collected them. Hell yeah, man. I already, like, already tied them up in a baggie and everything like that. So when shit goes down, I just bring those baggies. And if there's a community of people of that are in tune and spiritual with themselves and get what's happening to the planet and stuff like that, um, you know, because we're all going to come together soon, guys. I hope you guys know that. We're all going to have a community of us. We all. And no white people are going to be there. I'm uh, sorry to those Caucasian people. But none of you guys are not going to be in our civilization. You're not. You're just not. You're just not. Because all of us understand and understand. We understand and understand that you guys are not supposed to be here to begin with. Right? And don't say that, oh, we're all equal and shit. No, we're not. We're not. If we were equal, they won't have Black Lives Matter. Okay? And if we were all equal, you guys won't be burning from the fucking goddamn sun. Ha like, for crying out loud, like, I barely even use, I, like, to be honest, at all. I, I don't even use sun lotion at all. But yet, these orcs do. And, they, and then they want us to do it too. And then we go to the water and we fuck up the water. See, this is something you guys don't pay attention to. This is something you don't think of. How's that going to hurt the water? Do you don't think about the chemicals that putting, you put in your body or what could be in the water? You're drinking that shit too. I hope you know that. No, you don't. Oh my God. Wait. The 
planet is surrounded by water. What what what, what, what are you gonna drink? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I know those salt water, but you're not gonna drink salt water, you dumb motherfucker. God, like, are you that dumb? Come on, there can't be dumb people out here that think like that. Come on, guys. You you all know what to drink and not to drink. <laughs> you know, like, come on, guys. You guys are you guys are mature enough to know what's right and wrong. You know what's right and wrong, right? So there you go. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Be safe. And you know, thank you, Spiel guides. Thank you, high yourself. You know that you made it. Um, thank yourself too that you made it. You know, obviously you're doing that anyways, but just know that we are heading to a time now that that we probably gonna be fighting for a while. I told my friend this. And I even told some teachers this, and I've also mentioned this too in some YouTube videos, that this whole pandemic stuff, basically, what like what do people suspect? Like sh this shit to end in their eighties, in their forties. That's why I pointed out to my teacher and my friend that there's going to be a war breaking out because no one does not want to wait this shit at all and the teacher agreed with me and so did my friend because they knew they know they know the writing on the wall for kind of loud in school they already teach you like for kind of loud i didn't learn anything like in, in, in classes they didn't teach me anything about you know the environment or what what you know about what's happening to our planet like taking care of it and stuff like that now they're doing it and I'm already here doing the paperwork and shit like that. I'm like, why do you guys fucking care about doing this shit now? Well, you guys could have done this shit when I first came here. That's how you know shit is changing. When the school district, when the school fucking district is literally teaching the students about the environment stuff and how to take care of it, that is how you know this shit is done. And most people be like, oh, th it's been talked about already for years and years and years. I'm like, I get it, I get it, I get it. But it's not to it's not to the point it is right now, to be quite honest, guys. I mean, look around you. If you've been paying attention, you know. If you've been ha if you haven't, then you haven't. That's that that's you, not me. That's you. That's you. I'm not gonna blame you. I'm just gonna tell you there was an opportunity for you to see it. You just didn't take that opportunity. For for some reason. You know? So, this, uh, this opportunity that we have to change this planet is, is, is going to be wonderful, guys. We're going to take this virus out and bring in a new thing to this planet. It's going to be great. We're going to be a galactic family again. We've already been, but... We're going back to it more. And our first eyes, our first eye, everyone's going to see that. Some of us can show it right here, like you see in Doctor Strange, the new movie. I haven't seen the new movie, but I've seen uh, like pictures of Doctor Strange having his first eye open and stuff like that. Some of us around here can have that. Like, have, like, we already, like, I'm talking about like you can literally see your your first eye on your forehead, you know, so like that. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of like you see with um one of the characters in um Dragon Ball Z. So I, 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 yeah, that's all I could think of, guys. I'm trying to think of maybe any any video games and all that. Uh, I could talk about there is that Kirby game. Um, where everything's just a wasteland and Kirby's going around and finding what was left over there. Just like cars abandoned and stuff like that. You know, it's almost like they took the aspect of one of the stages from Kirby 64 and they expanded it. Because in one of the Kirby games, there was a planet that looked similar to Earth, but it's completely apocalyptic ice frozen over. 
and the only thing that's left is monsters. Like in Kirby sixty four, there's a planet that looks like Earth, and and it's covered in ice, and what's left over is monsters and machines. So, I'll see you guys later. Uh, take care. This is it. This is finally it. Sorry, I sometimes I don't know how to end videos, and other things just come to my head. So it happens, but. Take care, guys. Be safe. And watch out out there. Literally watch out out there because shit is going crazy. And shit's going to hit the fan soon. And we are going to war soon. We all. Look, I don't like war. I'll say that right now. I'm not a big fan of war. I don't like war. I never did and I never, ha and I never will. But if, we, but if we need to go to war to get rid of these motherfuckers, so be it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get rid of these motherfuckers that invaded our land, our planet, just to fucking enslave us in this realm. Nope. Not anymore, motherfucker. Now you are going to war with people that you shouldn't even fucking bothered with.